my graft of area, purple delight, variegated, that I took some cuttings. I think it would be about three weeks ago when I did this. This one doesn't have any roots, as you can see. I've actually taken it inside because it's been raining outside and so I have to keep it under my grow light to continuously grow it. And this one is also uh, purple delight. And look at the roots in that one. Look at the roots. It's time to <laughs> pop this up. And look, the reason why I chopped that off, well, it's due to be chopped off for one, but also it's because the snail and the slug had a feast on it. There's a lot of leaf propagations that I've got going in here. That's my Tesla. Look at all of them. When, oops, sorry, I just hit my super bum. This one is... The 1st of February 2024 when I took the leaves because this thing rotted as well because of the rain and also uh, the snail and the slug as well was chomping on it. Now you can see that there are lots of babies look about to pop out. Well they have popped out, germinated and the, hang on, the budgie has also popped out here. Can you baby pee? Come. Look, check out my Tesla baby pee. Oh, he flew in. <laughs> Very quick, isn't it? So it's the Happy Valentine's, everyone, the 14th of February at the moment. So it's 13 days ago. This one is called Sweet Violet. This is actually probably a Hyalina hybrid. So that's the 16th of January and it took a while. It took a while before it grew these beautiful pups. And to me, I don't know what it's doing, but it looks sort of variegated. But you see, look at the two of them. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Crispate Beauty also rotted on me. And I was able to save a couple of leaves. One died, just had some roots growing, but the other one is growing beautifully. And of course, the mother head I've chopped off and look at the roots growing out of it. Look at that. I got two babies. But anyway, this one now are leaves that I've taken from oh, Crispate Beauty. Also, that's December. Uh, that's how long it's taken. The 11th of December, so that's uh, January, February, almost two months before I could get baby bumps like this, not baby bumps, but really baby pups. Now I can plant this up and hopefully I don't forget and then it will be on its merry way. Now this variegated purple delight, I forgot to put a date, but also this is three weeks ago. Now this one is not so variegated, so it's the first one to germinate. So you can see that little pimple, it's still like a pimple. Now the rest of it, this one has got roots, but no pimple. And so as the rest of the gang here. But that one also, of course, as a cutting, it's growing roots. And because I probably put it in here, that's the reason why it's sort of shaded. That's why there's no direct uh, light going onto it. And so the roots probably germinated faster because of that. And this one that is exposed, although it's much smaller, since it's exposed to the light, it tends to grow roots a lot less or hasn't even grown roots yet now my budget just gave me a kiss and baby p look mommy has got some plants in here okay baby p hang on but you can sit on my shoulder now also the super bum super bum now super bum this one more variegation even though it's placed on this uh little jar here so as to keep it in dark in the dark in the dark now it's all wrinkly now because it needs to go in the soil but no roots, just sort of swelling up. After three weeks, you can see the little nodes there. So that one needs to be planted, but this one, sort of half variegated and half non variegated, has grown lots of roots. Look at that. Oh, look how beautiful those roots are. Now, that one too. Oh, that one has got a tiny little bit of root, but that one has got a little bit of case of powdery mildew as well there. Can you see that little fluffy stuff? But anyway, I'll spray it with my metho so as not to infect the other plants. And this one is non-variegated. Okay, so it has slight variegation at the older leaves. Oh, look at that. So it's got a lot of roots because the face of it, it has reverted to non-variegated. This one, let's check this out. These two heads. The one on the left has grown roots and the other one on the right um, the other end of it. Look, it's looking sad, but that will perk up once I put them in the soil. I've now planted a few of my leaf-grown 
succulents in this pot inside because I want to put all the cuttings of the super balm and also the Graptavaria purple delight variegated in this vacant spot here. Also, I've done a little bit of experimentation with the cuttings. So this is now four days ago since I've shown you the first part of this video. So this is four days later. On the third day, I put it in this water in the container and you can see the roots has grown much, much faster. And also the other one here that did not have, hang on, any roots. Let's go check. Oh, look, the I can see the roots coming out of there now so but this is now ready to be planted in the soil and also the crispate beauty oh look look at the roots that's marvelous and also the super bum here my two super bum i'm really concerned about these two because the other ones like this one has got more roots ready and more roots again look at that uh being planted in just plain water that's only, I think, uh, about 28 hours <laughs> in the water. And look at, oh, look at that one. See that one on the right-hand side? Did not have any roots growing before. And that's how quickly it grows when you let it dry up first. And then after that, uh, it's already growing some roots. And then if you help it along and put it in the water, they grow much faster. I mean, the roots. Also, the leaves have already plumped up a little bit as well because they were starting to look a little bit depressing before. But now they're all nice and healthy and plumpish. That one is not going to be plump up that quick, but the center one or the center part is already plump. Now, this one as well, let's see. Oh, look at the roots on that one. Now, these ones are all ready to be planted, but all I do is that I really want to put the Purple Delight variegated first in this spot. So, I'm going to do a hole here and a hole there. And I'll put the bigger one into, hang on, <laughs> one hand, just a sec, open it up more. So there you go. So we got more holes. This will help it grow much, much, much faster. And I am not going to take them outside. I'm going to leave it here. That way I can control the watering that they will receive. And the teeny weeny one here, which I want to survive. I don't want you to die. Okay, hang on. That one there. All done. And the rest of the super bomb in this spot here. Hang on, we'll do the big one here first. Okay, this is the one with the biggest variegation, so nice roots already established. Now, side to side, gently go in there. So you get the idea, and I'll do the uh, same with the rest here. Okay, so now they're all planted in here and I'm going to leave this indoors, of course, as what I've said earlier. And also, some of the leaves here that have germinated, so this variegated one, showing a little pimple on the tip there. So this one, I'm just going to lay it, hang on, next to the cuttings of peony rose. There you go, I'll put that one there. And if there's... Also, I think other ones, I'm just going to plonk them wherever I can see a spot. And hopefully, even this one doesn't have a pimple, but it's got roots. So hopefully they will just grow and uh, take root more. And that one has got a little bump. But, oops. There you go. It's a bit hard to focus it. There you go. So that one's got a little bump, but it's not variegated anymore, but hopefully it will grow into variegated, but I doubt it. Now, I'm, I don't know where to angle you, but anyway, guys, that's all I've got for this video. And also, the crispate beauty here that has grown, I'm going to put this in a separate pot because I was hoping I could still have a spot here, but I can't. And also, the same with the Tesla. There's so many of them that are growing. So look at that. All of the lots of babies uh, pimples <laughs> still that are growing. So I'm going to put this in a separate container and that way I can have just all Tesla. Now what am I going to do 
with the rest of the variegated ones here. I'm gonna, this is a purple delight. You can have a delightful time growing in these empty spots. Do I have more empty spots? Yeah, that one there. Oh, also this one, the peony rose. That's just a cutting. So that's the plant that was on top. And this one is the bottom half of it. I chop it off and then now look, it's growing little peony rose variegated or peony. Yeah, I think it's just peony sunset or something variegated. So what it is, I forgot to put the name, but anyway. Ooh, that one has got lots of roots, but tiny bump. So there you go. Go in, go in. Mm -hmm. Grow, baby, grow. Oh, I forgot. Just give it a little bit of water. Have to get some more. 